If you've ever sat staring at your screen wondering which photo organizing tool should I actually be using, you are not alone. With so many apps out there from Apple Photos to Mylio to Lightroom, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the best tools depending on where you are in your photo organizing journey. Whether you're a total beginner who just wants to tidy your phone gallery, or you're ready to take control with full metadata and cloud syncs, I'll break it down in a way that actually makes sense. And make sure you watch to the very end, because I'll be sharing my personal recommendation for the one app that saves me time every single day. So stick around. Where are you starting from? Before we jump into specific tools, let's be honest. Where are you starting from? If you're drowning in screenshots, have no system at all, you don't need the most advanced software on the planet. But if you're managing a lifetime of scanned prints, phone photos, and cloud backups, well, that's a whole different ballgame. So I'm going to break it down into three levels. Beginner, intermediate, an expert. That way you can figure out exactly what kind of tool will support your goals. Beginner, just tidy it up. If you're someone who mostly uses your phone and just wants to declutter, tag a few favorites, and make sure you don't lose anything, then built-in tools like Google Photos or Apple Photos are a great place to start. Apple Photos for the iPhone, iPad, and Mac automatically organizes by date and lets you search by place, face, or object. You can favorite photos, create albums, and even share them with others. The bonus, it's already on your Apple device and works seamlessly across your Apple ecosystem. My top tip is to check out the media types to get some quick sorting done. The app has sorted your photos into nice categories like screenshots, selfies, and videos, so you can quickly sort those problem areas. Google Photos is great if you're on Android or if you want that clever AI-powered search. It's especially good for finding that one photo of your dog in the snow in 2017. You can create albums, share it with others, and use their built-in editing and filtering tools. The downside? These are syncing services. If you delete from your phone, it's deleted from the cloud too. So if you want a bit more control or build a proper archive, you might want to keep watching. Intermediate, let's get organized. Now, if you're beyond the basics and ready to get your photos in proper folders with some naming and metadata, I'd recommend looking into apps like Mylio and Photo Mechanic. Mylio is great for managing large personal photo libraries across multiple devices. You can tag people, create folders, keyword images, and even work offline. It syncs between your phone, laptop, and tablet without sending your images to the cloud. Perfect for privacy conscious folks. Photo Mechanic was originally built for professional photographers who needed to sort, tag, and send hundreds of images under tight deadlines. And that lightning fast browsing still sets it apart today. You can preview raw files almost instantly, apply star ratings, and use powerful filters to sort your images quickly. If you're doing a lot of manual tagging or just want to streamline your workflow before your photos ever hit the editing stage, Photo Mechanic is a brilliant bridge between shooting and archiving. Both of these give you far more control than the basic phone gallery, but they do take a bit of setting up. So they're ideal if you want to spend a little time now for a lot more ease later. But if you want total sorting control, then check out my Photo Mess Success courses. Whether you're working on a Mac or a PC, my courses walk you through everything from gathering your scattered photo mess to creating a system that works. You can find out all the details at photomesssuccess.co.uk. But don't just yet, we've still got the expert level tools to explore. Expert, tag, track, tweak. Now we're into the big leagues. If you're a professional photographer or a serious family historian and want full control over metadata, image versions, ratings, and backup strategy, then you want something like Adobe Lightroom or Adobe Bridge. Adobe Lightroom isn't just for editing. It's brilliant for organizing large libraries, tagging with keywords, using star ratings, and sorting collections. You can work in the cloud or locally, and it syncs beautifully across devices. If you've got hundreds of thousands of images and need to find mum's birthday party in 2012, Lightroom will help you do just that. 
but you do have to actually load the photos into Lightroom. Adobe Bridge is another powerhouse of metadata, tagging, color coding, and smart collections, but without the editing side of Lightroom. It's free and works brilliantly alongside, say, Photoshop for your editing needs. But the bonus is you don't need to load it into the tool to be able to use it. You can use it wherever your photos are stored. Now, these tools have a learning curve, but once you're set up, they are incredibly powerful. So which one is right for you? If you're just starting out, stick with Google Photos or Apple Photos. They're easy, fast, and better than doing nothing. If you're ready to actually feel in control of your photo life, try Milio or Photo Mechanic. They offer that sweet spot between user-friendly and functional. And if you need full-on power and customization, go to Lightroom or Bridge. You won't regret it. And don't forget, I walk through how to set up your photo library properly in my Photo Mess Success courses. So if you're tired of your photos being in 17 different places, this is a great place to start. Bonus tip, try before you commit. Here's my final tip. Almost every photo organizing tool I've mentioned today has a free version or a free trial. Don't just pick one and hope for the best. Download a few and give them a test drive. See what works with your style and your tech setup. You'll thank me in the long run. And if you're still not sure which is the right tool for you, then check out this video next, which is all about the essential requirements for your photo organizing software. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.